And welcome to one of our special um, streams. So we are just going to uh, fast travel somewhere because I've stuck in the bed already. So uh, let's go there. And then we'll head straight back and we can start having a look at our uh, builds on Valguero. So yes, welcome to Valguero. Um, first of all you can see on this map that this is our uh, main main base here. Uh, let's go to there. And, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, it's quite central to the map, okay, and uh, we've got some other beds located around here. Uh, this bed up the top is the with Wyvern Trench. Uh, this is the Castle Island. Uh, I think this one is the Green, yeah, Green Obelisk, uh, Redwoods, um, and this is Home Sweet Home, which is our first spawn base. So we're going to be going to this one here. <coughs> Excuse the name of that bed. Has no reference whatsoever to me. Honest. Okay, um, first of all, this is our bedroom on the top of the, uh, the house. And this is where we keep all our furry friends. Little shoulder pets. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that's tricky. Um, but, yeah, sporting his uh, good Am old American hat there. Um, and we have some otters here, so we're just going to say hi to those. Elsa, Violet, Flick, Kiki and Gigi. So Gigi's one of my little special otters. Just been to many maps with me. Uh, he currently resides here, but he will be moving to to Ragnarok um, and uh, to the uh, petting zoo at Ragnarok, uh, which we'll be looking at on our next stream. So this is a special stream, um, just to say thank you to uh, anyone who has followed me, or everyone who has followed me, because this is the stream for me reaching seven followers. It doesn't sound a lot, but it means a lot to me. Um, just going to adjust my volume. Okay. That's a bit better. Okay, so um, if you haven't seen our house build before, so uh, very, at the very top here is the generator. Uh, outside, you can see we've got this beautiful location, very central on the map, reasonably flat area to um, build and uh, you can see that um, we have quite a, a big wall around our base uh, and that was courtesy of me so I'm the wall builder um, Mr Trophy is the house builder so um, we both grind um, materials to use for both building walls and house. Okay, let's pop back down to the bedroom. And the little fairy guys, they love it in here because they've got the carpet that looks like grass, but they've, they're not house trained, so we have to clean up after them. <coughs> but we do have uh, our poo bugs that do uh, like all that poo. Okay, this is Fisher. Uh, little feather light, such a beautiful little thing. I love the feather lights, so they're just so dainty, um, so sweet. <laughs> okay, we got our faithful Jaboas. Um, I like to give us little warnings about when it's going to rain, and if you're on scorched turf, then they'll give you little different warnings for each storm that's coming. Um, let's see who we've got here Ethel. Donut, 
bulb dog so these guys are mainly from aberration zone so there is an aberration zone in Valguero um, so that's where these guys are coming from um, who's this? this is Orion so this is my little feather light and he's just gorgeous okay let's move on otherwise we'll spend forever in the bedroom uh, Dread, my little red buddy okay I think we've said hi to everyone you haven't even got a name you poor little soul okay so outside let's have a look outside so actually we're going to go out this way first because this is our balcony and you can just have a little look at our view so our view is right across the lake and the small islands uh, we have a drop that comes straight into our <laughs> front garden there and uh, you can see that the um, white cliffs are up that way okay and then we've got the green obelisk that way and the island base but uh, just to give you a little uh, hint of our build we're going to look at the suspension bridge so this is a suspension bridge here you can see it from the front angle um, I'll go round that and show you that uh, how it's been built in a moment okay let's close the door so the little cherubs don't get out there okay uh, this is Joker this is uh, our Philo um, he just likes it up here on the grass he likes to be high up and looking over the everyone um, we call these guys drop bears because they tend to drop out the trees on top of you if you're in the redwoods um, and knock you off your mount okay so this is our little um, other little balcony here and then if we head down the stairs this house build is um, a, a design that we use on every map so that f we first used this house on um, the centre map which was the second map that we played and uh, we've used it ever since so um, you can see here we have a uh, another sort of balcony and this one is where we produce all of our charcoal so once we've uh, got our um, industrial burner up we tend to use this method for just burning up charcoal and using the other for metal now I've got two special flyers here to show you so this is Indiana so this is uh, my Argentavis Argy Bargy there we go so see what beautiful colours she is or he is he is she <laughs> okay so yeah red white blue um, I think uh, these colours were in for uh, some uh, one of the American celebrations you can see Uncle Sam out there sporting his hat as well um, we're going to say hi to Uncle Sam in a minute but first off this is uh, my faithful Indiana who um, joined me for this um, this map um, yeah she's pretty cool and this is my lovely Superman so I'm sure you can understand why he's called Superman uh, just look at those colors he's pretty wonderful and he's been a lifesaver a few times on this uh, map for me and Mr. Trophy, so um, we love him dearly. <laughs> Hello, Soobs. <laughs> okay, so let's head onwards now. I've introduced you to the uh, two two main flyers here. So I'm just gonna head out and drop Indiana down here. Okay, so. You can see uh, the date on here, 11th of 11th 19, that's when we defeated the Gamma boss and we had to go, we left uh, Superman in the cave near the Green Obelisk so we left a little note to remind us to go and get him, <laughs> which obviously we have already done. Okay, so I'll, show, I'll fly around the house and show you how the layout um, in a minute, but um, this is the ground floor of the house and this is how we like to lay it out, so we always have a burner first. Uh, this is the first burner that we build and we generally use it for um, 
making petrol uh, the later stages, first off using it for metal. Then we have um, our smithy. That's our cupboard, that's our smithy. Okay, and then under the smithy is our um, ammo box. Then um, you'll see here we've got a box which is for petrol, our grill, and then we have three fridges. The first one's usually for prime meat and uh, mutton, second one's usually for meat, and the third one should be for meat and uh, any other sort of uh, berries and stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure that we've moved all of our berries around to this fridge here. Yep, so any berries and, and carrots, potatoes, all that sort of thing goes in this fridge. Any oddments go in this fridge here, along with the uh, berries for making dye. Just have a little look in there. Okay. Uh, Mr Trophy does like to... I've got some more petrol in there. Mr Trophy does like to make his own... Um, recipe so you can see one there uh, so this one is ho home burger so uh, yeah it's pretty nice okay so in here we usually keep our um, seeds and uh, anything to go in the garden fertilizer um, this is our um, storage for the uh, stuff that goes in the dry storage and then we've got our blueprints so any sort of blueprints go in there so it's sort of building materials then it'll be armor and weapons in this one and then it'll be saddles in that one okay uh, you can see where the water's been plumbed in so we usually have one over here um, on this table uh, this is where we start off uh, making stuff in the mortar and pestles and then later we get to uh, make the chemistry bench and, and use this instead. Um, our storage is always laid out the same so I know what I'm going to see when I go in here. It's going to be trophies and skins and paint. So sort of like uh, artifacts, trophies, skins, paint. Yep. Yeah. And then I go into this one, and this one should be building materials. Yep. This one should be weapons. Yep. Weapons and bows, guns. Okay. Getting around the back here is a little bit more tricky because uh, normally we would have store. That's extra storage. Uh, that's uh, armor. And I can't remember what's in this one. Ah, oh, this one's saddles, of course. Okay, cooking pot under the stairs, a couple of dodos down here. Okay, and then we have our garden out the back here, so you can see we've got all the bits we need here. And there's our uh, our guy who flung dung. <laughs> I have no idea why he's called that. Oh. Now this is our lawn, so on most of our house builds we have a lawn around it and this is what I call our lawn. We usually do it in a checker pack and pattern like this. So this is where we display our artefacts. So you can see our flags, artefacts that we've collected. That's another look at the suspension bridge. We'll go and have a little look at that in a moment. Uh, we've got our tech transmitter there. So this is Mrs. Chippy. Now Mrs. Chippy, believe it or not, is uh, named after a, <coughs> a very famous cat. Well, not very famous, but um, she's named after the cat that was on the um, adventure down to the sa South Pole with, um, who was it? The en Is it the Endurance? Endeavour? Endurance. Um, she was the ship's cat. And sadly, uh, she didn't make it back. Um, but it was uh, one of Shackleton's trips down to the South 
South Pole and uh, yeah sadly the, uh, uh, you're probably aware or unaware but the, the ship got stuck in ice and they had to, s it was a, a survival, unbelievable survival story. Um, do look it up if you're uh, interested in that sort of thing because it is really interesting and uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So yeah, Mrs Chippy, named after Mrs Chippy from the uh, Shackleton trip. Uh, we got Texas here, so a lot of our um, animals uh, and dinos were named after um, American states due to the uh, fact that we were doing a um, American theme sort of. They were doing an American theme um, celebration. Uh, so we got Alabama over here. Uh, Teddy, that's our bear. We got Dr. Porkchop, our um, Deodon. And I can see this little guy here is, uh, he's, he's cherry. That is one of ours, but it is red because we he'd have to change his tribe. Okay, let's have a little look down. So, just give you a quick run of the house again. So we've got storage, workroom, food, uh, garden. Then we go up two sets of stairs. We've got the flight deck. Uh, flight cupboard and trough and charcoal facility and we go up again two flights this time and it's the bedroom towers there and there okay so now let's go and have a little look and see what else we've got outside so we will just go and say hi to Uncle Sam Uh, we've got a couple of uh, uh, wyverns here, so uh, and a Dio, so a uh, hailstorm, <laughs> blitz, and raffia sia. So raffia, yeah, raffia sia. So it's quite a tricky one to say, but it is actually the world's biggest flower. Uh, if you look that one up. Um, it's uh, it grows in Malaysia, so uh, typically in Borneo. Um, and when I went to Borneo, we were hoping to see them, but we uh, didn't, unfortunately. And Persil, because he looks clean. <laughs> okay, so we've got RV here, our um, our lovely uh, Parasa. Um, named after another Parasa from another gaming channel uh, and then we've got Uncle Sam with his hat he's doing a fine job showing that off okay so then we've got our enclosures there and our suspension bridge um, I'm just going to show you down here because at the back of the house we have a um, where we have some other creatures so Ruwako, Hornet, okay, New Jersey oh, I'm glad you're here because do you know what there's a little buddy for you on Ragnarok waiting for you to go and join them because they're all very lonely okay Scaramanga, what have we got else? We've got Carnage, Carnage, okay, Janice Radar, and Washington. <laughs> Look at these colours, guys, though. I mean, the red, white, and blue, it's amazing. <laughs> um, we do have a few sheepy in here as well. Uh, if you know me, you know that I quite like my sheep and. Uh, especially if they're different colours and we've got a superb looking red sheep here uh, it's quite wonderfully bright and that's why his name is Beacon uh, we've got Soot uh, Shaggy and Orville not quite sure why he's called Orville uh, got a couple of horses here as well with the uh, saddles uh, so a little look see what we've got up here Okay, so yeah, 
got a troop of DOs up here so uh, some of them look like they were but potentially twins when they hatched and we got our couple of uh, <laughs> so we got our <laughs> our uh, sick boy spud begbie oh and this one's low so these are the guys from train spotting <laughs> the film uh, that's who they're named after and we got Layla there <coughs> Okay, and off we go. We're going to go and have a little look at the suspension bridge now. Uh, there it is. And we'll just have a. Let's go back round this way and go and get Indiana, and we can. Uh, might find the frame rate drops a bit on this stream uh, simply because there's a lot of building, a lot of go stuff that's loading in and we probably will have to wait for, for things to spawn in there are you girl there you are oh, no. come on that's it so we're gonna have a little fly around so you can see the uh, base and the house and the bridge but we'll have a look at the house first so <coughs> As I fly around, I'll just look down on it and you can see the areas. This is all uh, Mr. Trophy's design, um, the house. So I didn't have any input into that, so it's his wonderful mind that comes up with this, uh, these designs. I'm just a grinder myself, I just grind the materials for him. Okay. So, uh, next we're going to just go fly around again and look at the suspension bridge. So this was uh, to bridge the gap over to this other site and you will see in a moment um, another building spawning in on the other side of the suspension bridge. So there we go. Just fly this way a little bit and then turn and you can see the bridge there. Okay, it's completely uh, a 100% Mr. Trophy's build. I can't take any um, limelight away from him for that. <coughs> um, so you can see the uh, pillars and uh, what he used for the cables or I'll just show you if we go down we can land okay so we're getting a bit of frame rate drop so don't worry about it so he used electric cables for the uh, cabling and I think it looks pretty neat myself um, he does use just the standard building engrams that you're given so he doesn't use plus or any other mods to to do his building so it's all um completely built with uh, just a standard palette if you if you like so at the end of the suspension bridge here <coughs> there's another building now this is a building that i built um it is for the wivens so uh, I don't think we've got many wivens left here now so we've got um, looks like there's a couple down there so what I'll do is I'll show you the inside of this we'll fly around because it's uh, probably easier to do that so yeah I mean Mr Trophy's not keen on this sort of building sort of like more modern looking building he likes this castly type buildings Oops. okay so what have we got in there uh, Thunderbird our um, tech uh, Quetzal and we've got Cookie our dragon here so let's just check on them uh, looks like their food is fine just wanted to check on them yeah he's pretty cool this guy lovely colour as well uh, 
Okay, so it's a bit of a weird setup, so it's just like up to this level and then just do a turn again up to this level so you can sort of fly right the way to the top and then we've got it's quite a nice big open space so uh, room for plenty of uh, wivens and then when we come to the top here it's a glass ceiling and if we can get out here we will and um, I'll we'll just fly around here till we get to the door. I think we went the long route. Never mind. Okay. We'll go and see who's inside. Ah, oh, won't let me in. Uh, let's have a look why. Um, that's okay. I don't think Mr. Trophy's uh, changed that over to our new tribe yet, so what we'll do is we'll fly back down uh, see if we can see up. So if you look up there you've got a number of glass floors going up to the top um, there's a couple of layers for uh, birds you can see we've got a couple in here now um, there we go and then at the very top there is like a, a little area for humans for humans for sleep uh, uh, as you can see a lot of glass was used making this and it, it's nice to be able to stand there and look right the way down and <laughs> see all the way down it's qu quite good fun um, so let's have another fly around and have, have a look at that suspension bridge again and this building We'll just fly out here a little way. There we go. It's not much to look at, but it serves a good purpose. And uh, and the suspension bridge there is just fantastic. Okay, so we're now going to grab some water and food. I uh, might put some uh, trousers on. I will just go back to the. Okay, let's see what we got. Can grab some meat. Just one piece will be fine, and. See if we've got any uh that'll do just a bit of fur, just not fur, hide. Okay. Let's pop that on. That's it. Okay. So off we hop. So we're going to go now um, and have a look at the uh, castle base. Uh, you will have to bear with me because it's probably going to take a short while to uh, spawn in. Um, once it's done we'll have a look round. Okay so the frame rates are dropping a bit. <laughs> okay so somewhere down here there used to be a a rex that was standing on a little island, uh, um, Alpha Rex I think it was. I don't know if he's gone or if he's still there. Oh no, he's still there. There he is. <laughs> He'll be stuck there forever. Just look at this map, it's just one of the most beautiful maps. And then there's the uh, clam cave there where is the entrance to the uh, aberration. I'll just show you that if I can. Might knock me off my bird, I'm not sure. So yeah, so the clam cave is uh, one of the entrance exits, exits and entrance for the uh, aberration zone. 
and uh, let's just go down here there we go so it's knocked me off the bird so we'll just go and have a little look on foot so you can see there it goes down here and we've got, it's got a little building there just at the beginning but you can see it goes down into the the deeps underground I do like the uh, aberration aspect of the game as well so I was quite happy when I found this on this uh, On this uh, map, just just in time. We just need a drink. Perfect. Okay. Come on, then, girl. Let's go and uh, show these guys the. Okay, you're not going to go on there. So let's go over here. Don't let me back on the bird at the moment. So let's fly away. Okay. Come on then. Okay. Okay, not sure why it's not letting me back on the bird, but um let's have a look. Oh, there we go. We're too close to the cave. Right, okay, so we're going to head on off, on up to the uh, castle base. As I say, it's probably going to take a minute or so for it to actually spawn in properly. So we'll just head for the inner courtyard area first. probably my second favourite map um, I really enjoyed playing this map it was um, it was nice biomes, nice feel um, a little bit different because you didn't have the ocean it was more like a lake situation um, yeah just, just the scenery it's uh, very much like uh, Fjordjur the uh, new map it's um, pretty nice. Okay so you can start seeing the uh, castle base spawning in now so um, we'll just uh, pop to the courtyard and then we'll let everything just spawn in before we look around. Okay, I <laughs> hope don't crash. No, okay. So it's probably going to take a minute or so, so we'll just let it run for a couple of minutes and um, then we'll have a look and see. see. There you go, you can watch it as it spawns in. Um, Okay, so I'll show you this uh, section up here first, so let's uh, whistle that, stop. Okay, so this is the keep section, so um, just go in here, sorry we're losing a bit of uh, frame rate there. It's not a surprise really, it's such a massive build. So this little corner here on um, this little tower is um, the egg hatchery. So uh, this was before we had egg hatches. So you can see that we had our um, hot cupboard there for any wyvern milk. Uh, plenty of uh, wood for the fires. So if you have haven't hatched wyvern eggs before then this is a good way to do it if you're using fires so build a hatch do the two vertical lines with uh, two sets of fires and the middle one with uh, one set one set thickness um, 
and you can um, hatch two eggs at a time so you put one egg on this side and the other around the other side okay so we're gonna uh, we're gonna go up and see if we can walk around the walls first um, let's see So it's down there, yeah, okay. Still get a little bit lost in this uh, area. Ooh. Hello, Indiana. Get very lonely down there. Okay, so uh, one of these doors will lead me to the... Yeah, here we go. Just need to crouch a little bit to get through that door for some reason. It's all right though, so... Uh, you can just walk around the walls. So we can go up here, up into the uh, tower, and up this one, and we can sort of look out at the view, which is always quite nice. Uh, and we'll just head back down. Ooh, got dizzy doing that. Okay, so uh, that is where we came from, so we want to be going this way, so hopefully there's another way, maybe we need to go down one, yeah, it's been a while since I've been to this base to be fair, um, we've got a door that way, okay, so this looks like uh, it's going that way, and This looks like the way we want to go. Okay, so we can go up onto the uh, battlements and see. We can always open these and close these uh, through, through the crenellations. Yeah, observation. A bit more height. Okay. Again, we can go up or down. Uh, we're going to look up first. Okay. Okay, so this is just a tower that we can look at. That's great. And then, uh, then so if we go down. Here we go. And then climb up here. We're back onto the wall. Okay, so we're going to the next tower. And I think that's pretty much the same design. You can go up into the tower. Let's have a look, see where down goes. Just down to the uh, courtyard, I think. Yep. Um, okay, so um, we can pop back up here and continue around the wall. Okay, let's peek in there. Okay, ooh. So, got a few vexes in here. Um, <laughs> nuisance. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see a uh, nice tech, tech rex there as well. And our little bear down there, Polo, who's a white bear. <laughs> and a couple of the old uh, gang that um, helped us with the final boss. Okay going to go back out again and you can see that the wall does go around here as well okay ok 
Okay, so you you can see we've got a few coloured lights in here as well for um, when it gets to night time, so it shines different colours. Okay, so we've got another steps up and down, so I think we're going to go up first. I think it's just another tower. Observation tower, where you can see that's the uh, bridge to the land. Okay, and we'll pop back down. Okay, so there's a hatch there to come up and down. There's a little bit of storage area down there and uh, it looks like a smithy. And we've got another tower, so we'll just look at that building we just come out of there. Uh, it's a bit like the uh, cathedral, that's what we call it, a cathedral. Um, we have one of those on uh, Ragnarok as well. Okay. So we we'll go down. Whoops, fell off the stairs there. Okay, this leads us back out to the courtyard. So we've been round sort of half of the uh, half of the walls. Okay. Now we're going to go back in here, and we're going to go back up. Let's see if we can get if there's a walkway over the bear moth gate. Yeah, it looks like it, so uh, we'll carry on this way. And then we should have to drop down again. I'll just let you have a little look at the um, how it's been built. A triangle shoes by the looks of it. Oops, came off the side again there. Okay, so this must be uh, the way out. Okay. You can see we're the other side of the bear moth gate now. So let's go back up onto the wall. Okay. And we've got another tower there. And then we're moving up to the uh, tower that is the opposite of the one that we started in. So if we open this up see nice area for um, keeping uh, animals and dinos plenty of food uh, we've also got the uh, link between the uh, east and the west sides of the castle and then this here is the keep uh, which we're going to look at next And we're back down to the uh, hatchery room, egg hatching. Okay, so this is the keep. I'm just going to show you around the edges first. So you can see the wall goes right the way around this area and up to the back here. And then this, this door just goes into where we've just come from. So that's the door we were at. So what have we got here? Dr. Beat, uh, Crematoria, Ice Wyvern with no name, Milky Bar, Frosty and Yukio. Okay, so you can see uh, 
room for big guys down here. Okay, and we're going to just... Ooh, where are we? Up the stairs. So, up the stairs. Whoop. Okay, so this is a different design to our sort of normal house that we build, so I'm just coming in here, we've come into the uh, poo bug pen, so this is uh, Pootle. And we've got our dodos and some jaboas over here, providing the uh, necessary for Pootle to do the refining. Okay, so uh, this is our... Oh, puffball. Oh, I do love a Lymantra. Lovely. And we've got a couple of uh, DOs up here. Uh, Chicky and Tsunami. Okay. So, as you can see, a uh, bit different of design here. So, we've got uh, the cooking area, three grills, um, fridges, plenty. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've got uh, plenty of burners here, uh, chemistry bench, uh, we have uh, labelled um, vaults, uh, fab, industrial burner, uh, what else have we got? Industrial grinder, never use, use that, not much use for it really. Okay, uh, just need a drink, so let's find some water. There it is. Okay, we can have something to eat as well, because you can see we're getting quite low on food as well. So yeah, so this is the inside of the uh, area that um, we're using as a work area. Um, then we'll go outside. Oh, no, we can go up these steps first. So, up the steps. Okay, so we are now looking over the castle. Uh, let's see if we can go back up. As I say, uh, Mr. Trophy built all of this. Um, he, it's all, as you can see, got electric and water. So, uh, and it's all been built from the standard. Okay, we can step outside for a minute, and then probably be able to have a little look. Yeah, over the castle. So that's the cathedral that we were in earlier. Um, and that's the walkway, the walls that we walked around. Down there's the uh, section that joins the east and the west of the castle. And this is the uh, the keep area that we're looking at now. So we're on one of the keep towers. So as you can see, there's four of them. Uh, we can cut across to the other one on the other side of here. Okay. A bit of different views. Okay. Find a door we can go through this one. Perfect. Okay, so we'll head back down. untidy waterworks there but that's uh, not like Mr Trophy but um, the more he builds the more he learns okay so so we've had a little look at that one and then we're going to have a little look at uh, this one next because I think this goes up to the uh, the garden here 
So we've got our greenhouse here, the end. I'm just going to squat to come through there. Okay, so this was probably a flight deck. So probably uh, flyers would come in here. Uh, another way up to a um, tower in here. Okay. Okay. And that is the keep. here. So I think uh, the last thing that I can show you is just a fly around uh, the castle and uh, have a look at it from uh, outside the uh, walls and then um, can't get out that one, let's go out this one. That's all good. We'll go and find it in D. Okay, so yeah. So hopefully uh, we won't have to deal with too much despawn and respawn. <laughs> we stay close to the castle. Uh, that's the uh, entrance, main entrance from the land. And you can see this uh, is all lit up. So there's lamps all along here, so at night time it's uh, nicely lit up. Uh, that's uh, what the castle looks like from this angle. Okay, so we'll just fly around. We'll try and start stay cl close though, so we can see. That's the cathedral just inside there. have the sheep pen down here with some more sheep in. I didn't show you this but uh, there are some more sheep on this little prominent bit here. Uh, you can look at the uh, cathedral again there. Frame rate's quite slow at the moment. I'm sorry, guys, but uh, such a big building, it's uh, just about coping with that. Uh, keep at the back. Uh, there's a dock down there as well. We didn't go and have a look at that but there, that's the little dock with the raft there. Okay, we're just going to come round again. We're nearly full circle. Just going to go up a little bit higher and see if we can get a nice sort of downwards view. There we go. Not too bad. <laughs> it's struggling a little bit to uh, to keep all that in.
Okay, so you, from this angle you can get to see the almost the whole castle build. I just do that. There, with the uh, courtyard in the middle, the keep, the towers, the wall, and the cathedral. So I'll just go out a little bit more. That's, that's quite a nice view there as well. Let's try and I'm just trying to give you a few sort of uh, view angles of it. Um, I know Mr. Trophy's very proud of this build, um, and I think it's really, really good. Um, as I say, he doesn't use any um, plus building or mods, he just uses a standard palette of what's available for you on the standard game. So we're just going to um, go back down here for a minute. We're just going to see if the sun goes down so you can get some night time. So we can show you the night time shots of the uh, castle. So we're just going to pop down here. And we'll give it a minute or so and then we'll... Uh, See if the sun goes down. So have a little, just a little glance around the inner courtyard whilst we're waiting. So, uh, uh, feeding troughs for all the uh, animals. Plenty of uh, space for all sorts of things around here, so it would be a, a good base for a, a team. I mean, there's only two of us, so it's just me and Mr. Trophy, so um, it's quite extravagant for two people. But we do have lots of dinos, so the guys from here uh, will be um, retiring to Ragnarok, our, um, our base there. Uh, we have another build there that we're going to have a look at um, as soon as we can. So uh, this stream, special stream today, uh, we'll be um, uploading this onto uh, YouTube as well. So uh, if you haven't checked out the YouTube channel, um, we've got a few videos on there. Uh, we'll probably be uploading more onto that. Um, and uh, just widening the scope of our viewers. Okay, so we're thirsty again, so we need to go and find some water. So we're just gonna go through here. Nothing here. Okay, let's go up the steps. Up here. Let's see what we got there. Ah, drink. Yeah. So as I was saying, this is our um, special stream for. Um, getting our seven followers on uh, Twitch and and um, we 
we have another one for our 10 followers. So we're not very big at the moment, but we uh, hope to gain some more uh, momentum uh, with time. Um, and the main thing for me is uh, people uh, that are enjoying my streams and uh, I think uh, we've got a lot of nice things to show off as special streams so um, mainly thanks to Mr Trophy so we're just going to wait and see if the sun goes down um, just a few minutes go up to the top of the uh so up here I can see we've got like a bedroom area we missed out earlier so we've got a big table and a bed I haven't quite worked out how we get in here yet, so yes, it's through here. And who have we got in there? Oh, hello! Michigan. Oh, you're a very pretty colour as well. Oh, and Deadpool. You should be down with Superman. What are you doing up here? So, we're just going to check these guys' food. Yeah, they're all okay. Wonderwall. Hmm, okay. Okay, so, uh, yep, this was the bedroom area. Nothing in the cupboards. Okay, so the sun's almost going down guys, so we're going to um, have a look round at, uh, at dusk and at night time at the castle, just to give you an idea of the lighting and how it's been lit up. At the moment we'll just look down and have a look round. I think the thing I like about um, Mr Trophy's builds is that they are all functional. They're not just there for show. So all of the towers you can get into, you can use, utilise. Um, and the walls, you can walk around them all. Um, there's lots of little nooks and crannies and to explore. And it's quite fun. I could probably spend about three or four hours going around this uh, and doing a stream on this uh, castle, looking at all the little nooks and crannies, going down every path. But I think, you know, we've be covered it quite thoroughly and um, I'm quite happy with that and I hope you are. Um, do leave uh, a comment if you uh, like the castle and the design. I know that will make Mr Trophy very happy to uh, hear someone's uh, appreciated his hard work. And we've got our flags out as well, flags from defeating the bosses. I don't know what that's doing, that Terry. It's got stuck in the top there. Oh, 
can have fun. Oh, not sure what that's doing on the roof. I think Mr. Trophy's accidentally left that there for some reason. Not quite sure. Quite interesting there. I'm going to have a look over the top of here. As you can see, you can get up into the top of these towers as well. Uh, great views from up here. And great views over the actual castle. low on water again so I think we'll uh, just uh, land up here again and go and grab some. It is quite lovely at night time, the castle as well, it's uh, all lit up so uh won't be long now and we'll be able to show you that. I don't really want to leave the area um, because it will have to all spawn in again, it takes quite a while so as long as we stay close. Um, it should all stay in place. If you haven't played the Valguero map, I highly recommend it. It is uh, it's very uh, good fun. Um, some nice uh, cave elements to it and uh, obviously the aberration zone there's a large underwater ocean or well, underground ocean I should say um, obviously an ocean is underwater um, you've got your wyvern trench um, your snow land, snow zone uh, the tundra zone uh, redwoods, uh, the white cliffs and tropical forest, uh, pine forest. It's, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of things to like. Okay, so we're just going to jump on Indy now and uh, head out off the edge of the uh, castle there. So you can look at it in the evening light and then we'll just uh, do a circuit. And hopefully the uh, sun will set whilst we're on our way round and you can have a look at it at night time where it's all lit up.
as the sun sets. It's uh, changing the, the light. see the castle at night time as it's all lit up. Okay. We will have a little look round. Uh, okay, so let's head up here. Just look down. And I hope you can appreciate, as I do, the amount of work that's gone into building this build. Um, all the plumbing, all the electrics going right around the walls. All across the whole castle. Okay, so you should be able to see the coloured lights on the cathedral now, so we'll go round there. We'll just have a little look off to this side and show you. It just looks amazing. It's an absolutely incredible build. And I'm quite happy saying that, because I didn't build it. So, yeah, cathedral. Uh, let's go down here. Have a look there. So, yeah, you can see, just see the coloured lights coming through the cathedral windows there. Uh, purple, orange, yeah. Okay, so we're just going to head back to our centre base. Uh, that's about it for the Castle Island. Uh, just one more look from a little bit further away. Pretty impressive. Okay, so we're just going to head towards the red obelisk for now. Um, that should take us almost back to where we're going. I see I'm getting a little bit low on stamina, so I have to just be careful with that. I haven't got any light, so we'll head towards that drop over there and uh, we'll just land there and get some more stamina. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed the uh, trip around the Valguero, our um, centre base and uh, meeting some of our guys, um, our dinos and uh, animals. Um, we will be going to Ragnarok to see the uh, the, the center base that's our main base for the whole game so uh, that's where all our dinos go to retire uh, once uh, we finish the map we uh, upload them and then download them to Ragnarok and that's where we've got our retirement base for the uh, dinos and uh, the petting zoo etc so it's all a bit of fun 
and I hope to be uh, showing you that on our next stream or our next special stream I'm just going to land here for some stamina Guys, so I hope you uh, have enjoyed the stream. I'm going to end it now. Um, it's been our special stream for uh, getting seven followers, and I hope uh, to pop this onto YouTube as well. And uh, hopefully, we're going to gain some more viewers from that platform as well. So, uh, as always, I'm the girl from Mars. Thank you very much for joining me on this trip around Valguero. I have got to um, upload myself and then download myself back to uh, Fjordjorn now. So we will see you next time. <laughs>